we're taking it from everything's equalized. The uh, load has been transferred to the anchor. Now we're going to go down and set a quick two to one up. So I want to make sure I'm not going forward and back a whole bunch of times. I'm going to put a couple figure eights in here. And this is just thinking ahead for whatever might come up. But at this point in time, I don't know really what I've got to deal with. figure eight. Um, I'm going to have my probe, my backpack, my first aid kit, ice axe, everything ready to go to the lift. So munter hitch, and I need to back my munter hitch up. My so we're putting it below so we uh, don't get away with it and we can manage things better. Here. You want to make that as short as you can. That will keep your life simple when you start going to the edge of the bath. So, and you want to make sure that it works. I'm good, I'm hands free. Okay? So, I've got my shovel, my probe. I'm probing my way to the lip as I'm going down. If you manage this prussic right, you can see you can feather it and you can just keep moving. Let go, and it locks. It takes a bit of practice. So I get to the edge, I've pulled my way along. I found that this is the edge of my crevasse. So now, with my munter, I can block it off, I'm hands free. I'm gonna make a nice flat area to work with here. Put down a nice ax or ski poles, and that'll allow this rope to run freely over the edge. This rope is gonna be dug straight into the bridge and it's, it's pretty much now redundant. We're not going to do anything else with this rope. Okay, I'm going to look down, figure out what's going down in the hole. I might have to continue my rappel over the edge, do first aid, do a transceiver search, you never know. Come back up, do my rescue from there. If I don't need to go into the hole, all I need to do here is drop a loop down. So I can use a carabiner, with or without a pulley, if you have a pulley, great. And then from here I can just drop my loop down to my victim. It's easier when it's vertical. Good catch. And she's going to clip that onto her uh, belay loop. Locks it up. Okay. And then at this point in time, I'm just going to drop that rope and I'm going to head back up. Okay. Reversing the system, as soon as I feel myself safe, I take myself off the way. to do is just snug everything up a little bit. Make sure that we've got a nice neat system. Okay. So no tangles in my lines. The main anchor's clean. This is running clean down to my victim and coming back up here. Okay. Now I need to add a break. I can pull on this. If there's three or four of us, we can pull on this. And if our victim's light, we can pull them right out of the hole. But if I pull her up a few feet and I let go, back down she goes. She's going to shock load our anchor, which again in snow is something we don't want to do. So we need to put a brake on the system here. Something that's easily accessed. That I can I don't have to move around. So what I can do is take a length of prussic. Nice three wrap prussic on here. And I'm going to 
tie this into my... <clears throat> Good place for a locking carabiner. Lock it up. Pull it up. Takes the weight. Check your system. Make sure that's locked, your crussock's in place. Give it a pull, snug it up, make sure it all looks good. And then three or four people can start pulling. So one, two, three, push that forward. One, two, three, and now if we drop the system and she goes back, it's held with the brake. And that's pretty much the two to one, simple and effective. Great.